Hey everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello, and welcome back to Blue Play's Scholar of the First Sin. We are in the Shrine of Amana, going to be finishing up this area and then moving on to the Undead Crypt, and I have some bad news. Felicia the Brave, the NPC that I alluded to at the end of the last episode, is no longer in this area. She's actually in the next zone by Roy's Resting Place, which we're not going to be seeing for just a little while. We have to get to the next bonfire, and instead we're just left with Lone Hunter Schmidt. And he's going to remain by his lonesome because I find him to be... Well, fairly terrible, but this next gauntlet, and I don't think you can call it anything else, can be brutal. You have some arch strikes, you have the aberrations in the water, you have the Amana, spe uh, excuse me, the Amana priestesses there, and down there, there's one that heals it. It's just, it's just really chock full of enemies, so we're going to be taking this pretty, pretty carefully. And you can see over there, there is a section with a priestess and an art drake. We will be heading over there before the day is through. Because over there, unlike the other area that was locked until we kill King Vendrick, with this place, we can actually explore. My concern is that if I go now, I have a feeling that priestess is going to start firing. So I think we're going to have to clear this area first before we actually go. Hopefully that priestess doesn't start shooting. All right, so we already have this one's attention. I want to get the Art Strike's attention even before I kill this Priestess. Let's see, there we go, good. So now we can now we can block and hopefully two shot. All right, three shot it is. We'll take the necessary hit, no big deal. Oh, and I just got the other's attention. I can hear it. Yep, there we go. And the Art Strike. Okay, uh, it is time to. Get some architecture in between us and the priestesses. Oh, bother. How do I get back up? All the way in the back. That's right. You remember. Oh, the Arch Drake was faster than I imagined he would be. Do your thing quickly. Oh, thank God for that pillar. That, that worked out pretty nicely. Got the helm and the robes. We already have the robes from Lost Bastille. But you can get a pair here if you missed out. Now we can actually go to the left here and take out this priestess. And hopefully, deftly dodge. Oh, there we go. And block if we need to here. There we go. Now, there used to be an ogre in here, and I'm hoping uh, that it's still here. That's exactly what I was hoping. Actually, I was hoping that because they added the other enemies, that they would have uh, decided he wasn't needed anymore. Such is not the case. Such is not the case at all. All right. And sit. There we go. One hit. Get him to switch. There we go. Now get behind, get behind, get behind. Come on. There we go. He should sit again based on his location, and then we'll run around. Good. And we should just be able to finish him here, I think. There we go. Nice and safe. Nice and safe. You have to get that sitting animation. Oh, good. Common fruit. That's what I was expecting. If you want to fight him safely, find out how to get him into the sitting animation. The Singer's Dress and the Life Ring plus two. Singer's Dress is what the Milfinito wear. And if you want to cosplay Milfinito, I've just shown you how. Okay, now... This area is still pretty dangerous. You still have a number of priestesses. You have a number of the arch drakes. So we have them down. Now, if I am reading their outfits and their gear correctly, we have the two arch drakes, which is good. There used to be three over there. That's the healer. And then the priestess is that one in the far corner. So she's going to be throwing bolts at us. I think what we need to do is... Grab some attentions and then scale back. Oh, they are. They are much faster than I gave them credit for. Okay. And almost finished them all. But you know what? There we go. Good. Easy peasy. There we go. Now we can go deal. We're going to actually skip the healer for now because she actually can't do anything except heal. And we'll go right towards the priestess. Take that hit on the chin. There we go. 
I almost want to leave her alone just because then she'll be all alone and she'll have no no one to comfort her anymore. And it's just more cruel almost than killing her, isn't it? But we're not a cruel player. We'll take care of her. Sorry, my friend. Hey. Really? Even even through my uh even through my shield uh oh my gosh, what's the word? Even through my guard break. Jiminy crickets. What a apparently a tough thing to say. All right. We can get this loot here. Just be careful. You can fall. You can see me getting pushed away from the edge. And we have more items out there, but we're going to get those by going through the cave. And in going through the cave is hopefully... Are we human? We are human. Is where we're going to find that summon sign right there. Should be... Felicia... Oh, get out of... Oh, no. Yep, that's a broken ring. That's a broken ring. Oh, that's a broken mask. Oh my gosh, I told you they break quickly. Yeah, wowza. That's unfortunate. I'm not worried about the mask so much. The ring is a bit of a letdown. So we might actually just switch to the Royal Soldier's ring just so we can keep going without going back to a blacksmith. That is unfortunate. That is truly unfortunate. Is this... Oh, there she is. Felicia the Brave. And you know what? We don't really need her. And I haven't been summoning just for fun, but it's Felicia. I mean, come on. You gotta cut me a little slack when we're talking about Felicia. Oh, that was stupid. I jumped at the wrong time. Felicia, would you mind uh, just running in there without any thoughts or concerns for yourself? And I'll just stand back here and throw firebombs? Oh, thanks, Felicia. Okay, big horn beetle down. And the little one down. Well done. Well done, Felicia. I don't know exactly what they did in this area. All I know is that eventually there is an invader. And my goodness, do we have a lot of enemies. So I think what we're going to have to do is... Well... Good. You missed me there. That one, if they're still over there, is not really much of a threat. So let's just kind of charge in. Felicia can take them. I will get these two Archdrake's attentions. Oh, there's another priestess I didn't see. I didn't see her all the way in the back there. All right. No, no, no. You leave Felicia alone. Oh my, this is this is going to be interesting. Oh boy. All right, back up. Felicia, you're up. You're not doing a whole lot of damage, but I need I need some healing desperately. In fact, let's go to let's go to the Estus. No. He will not knock. Oh, no. The sword's at risk. I actually am going to have to go rest. I am going to go... I'm going to have to rest. Oh, what a bummer. Eight. Well, you know, how many repair powders do I have? I have enough. You know, we're going to push forward. And look at her drinking. Ugh. My girl. All right. Yeah, we just used enough that we should be... If not full, then we should be close to full durability all right I don't know why this guy is not taking any damage I really don't it's like he was he he was blocking but he was also attacking me at the same time oh geez Felicia's gonna die yep there goes Felicia and wow and this guy just healed so this is going to get very interesting very quickly. Let's plan out these attacks using the pillars as cover. Take some necessary hits to start weeding them out. All right, we're going to go for this one next. Uh, I do have to watch out for the aberrations. They are here. Okay. Oh, I got an aberrations attention. Although I think it just got lulled back to sleep. So what we need to do, we're going to go for the healer. Because I'm afraid that the invader is going to be happening very quickly here. I'm not sure exactly when. Unless they removed her. 
I, I have a feeling they didn't. I think the Peculiar Kindler is still very much a thing. But maybe it's only after you've cleared the area. Okay. Seems to be the case. And there she is right down there. I say she. I honestly don't know if it's a she. Oh, jeez. Or a he. But. You know what? You're going off the edge. I just don't have time for you. And now we can loot. Relatively safely. We still have the... Aberrations. That's alright. Poor Felicia. She really, uh... She really took one for the team. She was out there in full force. Alright. All the loot to get. This is a very, very busy area. It was busy before, but it is... It is just chock full now. To get this item very carefully... Traverse behind this pillar. And there's your homing crystal soul mass. Let's just take a quick jaunt around to get the rest of the items. Oh, and I still need to get the one that's over by the mouth of the cave as well. Twinkling Titanite. Missed. Alright, what do we got here? Should be... Another? No, no. Apparently this center area is just kind of a big area full of the flame butterflies. Red Iron Twin Blade, Soul of a Proud Knight. Got some Petrified Dragon Bone there. A Dragon Charm. We'll get this, then we'll go get the one by the cave, and then it's time for the boss of this area. And it does look like there is still a Priestess over there. I'm going to show you how to go get her. Not that you need to, because typically she leaves you alone for the most part, but very carefully traversing this edge again. And there you go. A lot of items in Shrine of Amana, just a very treacherous area. So you can walk right here, just follow it. And, alright, she just decides to fall off instead. But there you go. So that's all the enemies dead. So what we need to do now, trudge through the water. We have one more Milfinito to rescue. Well, we have one more to rescue here, and then after we've killed the Demon of Song, we can go rescue yet another and then, of course, we have that area over there to visit. And there's some requirements that you need to meet in order to actually go to that area. But the last singing Milfinito, and you try to talk to her, and that's what happens. She is no more. But now let's go find out the source of the song that they've decided to sing for us. A unique boss. He's, he's a clever character design, if not kind of a, a weak boss battle in general, but this is the Demon of Song. Demon of Song can actually put out some real damage. You just, uh, you want to bait some of these attacks. And then get in there, because you can only attack his face or his arms when his hood is down. Or, well, I'm sorry, when his hood is up. So you need to... You need to time your attacks, because if you don't time them well, you'll actually bounce off of that rubbery skin sheath that he uses. And you will do no damage at all. Alright, he's going to... Yep. Jump forward. And can I get two? Just barely. Now he does have... A few moves where he can lunge forward very quickly, or he can shoot water forward very quickly. There we go. There's the water. Set of three. And what are you going to do now? Just the arm slap? I can handle that. I prefer not to lock onto this fight, and also to actually tilt the camera so you can aim your attacks up a little bit. And this should be the end. There we go. Not a very difficult fight. He can do some damage to you. You just need to know how to read his attacks. We get a soul. We also get to the key to the unblooded, which is honestly one of my favorite weapons. And I know that might seem strange because it's a key. But I just, first off, if you like Kingdom Hearts, I don't know how you could not love the Keyblade. It has a great moveset. It actually has very good scaling. So it has an A scaling in dexterity and a D scaling in strength. It's also a high D scaling. So even though it's only a D, put some points into strength, you will see the damage numbers climb. The base damage, 220. 
Now granted, it can't be upgraded with anything. You can't infuse it, and it is a key item, so you will lose it after you finish new game, or you will lose it if you decide to actually use it for its intended purposes, which is as a key. But it can produce some crazy amounts of damage, especially with the Ring of Blades plus two and the engraved gauntlets. But we are going to, before we go and fight that Sien Knight, we're going to... I see you over here. Are you a Basilisk? Oh, you're... No, you're two Basilisks. Okay. But I want to show you this shrine. Oh, there's more Basilisks. Oh, there's. that's right. There's a treasure here. So we'll get this treasure, then we'll go up to the door. Now, here, oh, we have a statue, okay. So make sure you have a fragrant branch of yore. But there is a bonfire in here, and there's a bonfire, I think, for a very good reason. And, and obviously a bonfire anywhere is a good reason. But what we can do is, we are gonna sit here, I'm gonna rest, get any durability back and all that. And then at the top of the stairs, there's a door with a unique lock. Let's go ahead and check that lock out. It just says locked, okay. But we have this very convenient place to do this. Well, not die apparently, but we have a convenient place to do this. And in doing so, we are now, un or we are now hollow. We are no longer human, and that's exactly what we need in order to open this door. Now I should probably go get my souls, but we will do that on the way back. And inside we have some familiar faces. If you remember the, wow, the Prowling Magus and the Congregation. Well, here's some members of the Congregation. I look down so I can actually manually aim somewhat. This is not who I was expecting here. There should be a warlock here, just like in the Ma the Magus fight, but uh, we have a Pyromancer instead. This is interesting. Oh, ho, 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 hey, hey. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, yeah, we don't want anything to do with that. Let's let's go ahead and start popping some, some Pop Rocks here. All right, now let's get back into the fight here. Okay, good damage, good damage. Uh, what I don't want though is for him to do another fire tempest. Oh. Okay, now's our opportunity. Let's go. Oh, the dodge is real. Oh, that was a good way to finish that fight. All right. There we go. And here is the actual shrine that the Shrine of Amana is actually known for. And I, I see they really changed the, the lighting here. Now, praying to this is not going to do a whole lot for me. In fact, it does absolutely nothing. And the reason is because I have humanity. If you don't have humanity, if you don't have any human effigies on you whatsoever, you don't have any in your storage box anywhere, you will you can actually turn human at this shrine. But you cannot trick the game. If you drop it on the ground, if you have it in storage, it will still tell you nothing has happened. But here's the fourth Milfinito. Talk to her. We can get, a, get an item. Come on. Divine Blessing. And I think you can actually get another item. There we go. Petrified something. There we go. So that's essentially the story of the Milfinito, minus the one that we still have to rescue in Drang Lake Castle. But we are not done in Shrine of Amana yet, because we do have some more items. And I... Th oh, goodness gracious, why? I... 
I don't know why there's pyromancers here. I uh, I truly don't. Come on, let's get some distance. Wow, that back. Nope, this is gonna be bad. Oh boy. Whew. All right, here we go. Get and finish. Whew. I don't know why there's pyromancers here, guys. I really don't. But I guess they were guarding a fire seed, so. Maybe that's one explanation. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Come on, really? Did we need another, is what I, oh, you know what? You are gonna kill me. Yep, I, I gotta get out of here. Where is my Estes? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Um, doing a little dance here. My goodness gracious. I need to get some distance. Where is... That was... That was... Wow, that was very, very actually handy of you to do what you just did. You got caught on the pillar. You allowed me to kill you. Holy pyromancers, guys. This area is a lot more dangerous now. Whew. But, pretty cool weapon in here. You have the bonfire aesthetic? Okay, hold on, hold on. Maybe, maybe I'm getting my chest confused. <laughs> maybe it's on the other side. But there isn't a chest on this side. Never mind, guys. They, uh, they have changed that as well, I believe. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to get a katana out of that chest. And now I'm worried that I'm missing something, but I... Oh, there it is. <laughs> well, well done. I forgot that they hit it. But we got it. We got it. The Manslayer. Check this weapon out. Check this weapon out. The Manslayer. This sword has claimed countless victims and the bloodstains upon its blade have turned to poison. Yeah. Poison. So this actually does poison damage. You can see over there the poison build up 67. Pretty crazy. It's a fun little weapon, but like every other katana, it's basically made of ceramic and will break at a moment's notice. So I'm going to cut the run back and I'll see you back in front of the door with the Sien Nut. And we mustn't forget our souls. Mustn't we? <laughs> Get up! All right, whoa, what did we drop? Fire Drake Stone, cool. Sien Knight, let's go, let's do this. We're gonna be fighting a lot more of your brother, your brethren, rather, in just a little bit. Very heavy door here. And inside, we have yet another nice long elevator, so get comfy, we're going for a ride. I'm letting you do the song this time. I just didn't have it in me. And we do have a decent number of souls. <laughs> Darn it, Aldia! I forgot about you again, you trickster. You... Mm, all right, come on. Let's talk. We don't have time for this. I gotta go back to Majula. I gotta do some shopping. Oh, sorry. My apologies. I said no. I don't really know that that has any bearing on the story. Whoops, my apologies. Anyway, I'm gonna go back to Majula, and we're going to have just a slightly different build for this next section, and you'll see what it is when I come back here. I'll also show you my stats in case I level up. Thank you. 
I apologize everyone, I am not back with a different build because I don't actually have the stats to do the build I was hoping to do. Uh, spoiler alert, I wanted to use the Fume Knight Ultra Greatsword against, Rain, uh, against Velstat, the boss at the end of this level. But I don't have the, near the dexterity in order to get there. I need 30 and I only have 18 and I only had enough for 6 levels. So I am going to show you what levels I put in in just a moment. But first let me deal with these CN Knights. And actually, I'll only just deal with the one. So, up to 40 Vigor, 30 Endurance. I also did repair the second Dragon Ring as well as my Helm. So, there you go. Oh, I'm a little bit disappointed. I really wanted to try out that that Ultra Great Sword to see how well it works. But, oh well. I guess it still could be kind of fitting that we would use a Smelter Sword against Velstat. Oh, why? Why are you here? Why are you here? Hey. Wake up. Wake up. I don't have any real desire to fight them, to be quite honest. I find these uh, these enemies to be very annoying. Alright, well, how much health do you have, huh? Eh, not that much, I guess. Not that much. And it could be fun to actually use the shield if they decide to drop them quickly. Huh? Imperious armor. Okay, got part of their armor. That's cool. This guy's gonna follow me for a while I'm not going to have him come with me the whole time because he can actually get me in a lot of trouble Hey enough with an NPC that we're going to Meet in just a little bit Agdane. Agdane hates light So you don't want any light when you go see Agdane including Including light that might be caused by a friendly and or a friendly hollow Okay, dealt with this sorceress. Deal with this one now. Oh dear. There we go. So he's kind of like the hollow in No Man's Wharf. He'll just kind of follow you around. Got some Triclops snake trochies. And who's this? Devotee Scarlet. Cool. They've taken a lot of NPCs from the DLC. I guess players really must have enjoyed them because now they're kind of found throughout the game. And Scholar. Alright, so now this is where he could get us in trouble. So, if I see him coming down that hallway, I'm going to have to go kill him. Because if he comes in here with this light, Agdane's going to know that we had something to do with it. And he is going to attack him and all of his cronies here. But if we don't produce light, then we can actually talk to him. Yada, yada, yada. Yado? What is that? So you can learn a gesture, you can also buy some things from him, the Ring of Thorns plus one, he sells some arrows. He actually does sell a number of human effigies and some Elizabeth's mushrooms which are really good. In fact, I'm going to buy, well, two of those because that's all I have the souls for. Plus, you want to talk to him when we, after we've killed Velstad. But, you know what, can't remember if I needed to exhaust his dialogue or not, but I think we're good. So now we can move on. Undead Crypt, pretty short zone. So I'm hoping to finish it in this video. In fact, right over there is where we're headed. But I do know that they've added some sinister changes here. Like these sconces. And you might think, why are sconces so sinister? They're sinister because of what happens when you actually light them. And yes, I am going to light them. Come on. Hop down here. Should be a wall warrior, unless they removed him. I know that there used to be one on the ladder, too. And is he still here? Yep, there he is. Just don't make me fall. That's all I ask. Alright. Free treasure. Crushed Eye Orb in the Fire Seed. The Crushed Eye Orb is going to be a very important item if you are sick and tired of the Nameless Usurper invading you like we are. Or at least like we're going to be very soon here. So now I need my Flame Butterfly. And, let's see what happens. There he is. So this enemy spawns after you light that sconce. And, they're not too bad. They are using the Insolent Mace, I believe. I don't know if that means they can cast hexes or not. 
Now here what I'm doing is I'm just going through the fog gate to open it up. I'm not actually going in here just yet. Instead, we're going to hop down because there's some gear or some loot down here, but there's also this which if you read these or this developer message, it says don't you dare, but you, you know you have to. I mean, you just have to. It lights up the area. It looks really cool. It apparently just makes it a whole heck of a lot more dangerous though once you light it up. And maybe we'll see why. When light is revealed, the shadows rise. Ugh, I don't know what that means. I know it means something. Uh, let's see, what kind of damage can we do? Oh, oh, shoot! Uh-oh. This is bad. This is bad. He does use hexes. Alright, I got the Imperious Knight down. I would actually very much like to switch back to my shield. Alright, let's re... Gain some stamina here. Yeah, using a little Heavenly Thunder. That's the Insolent Mace at work. It's a very cool item. I'm going to show you where to get it here in just a bit. Oh, we got Reeves Great Shield, so we got one of the two. Excellent. Now we just need Ormas. Another Soul Vessel. Pop a Life Gem before we climb the ladder. And I do apologize if this episode gets just a little bit lengthy. I did want to cover both areas, or finish up Shrine of Mana and cover Undead Crypt in one video. But here is your second bonfire, your second of two in Undead Crypt. I'm gonna rest so I can get my durability back, because this next area is going to be a bit harsh on your durability. Now, in this area, you have, there's a bell here, there's some other statues, there's going to be hollows that pop up around periodically, and there's a lot of loot, but if any hollow gets to one of these bells, you are going to have Lady of Pyromancer spawning from these statues. You can see one just spawned now just because of proximity. But if you break the statues, then it will prevent them from spawning next time. Oh, they actually, there's more bells now, isn't there? So... Get my full stamina. Oh no, that's a bell. Oh, that's a bell. Oh no, that's a bell. Oh shoot. This is going to be very, very dangerous. I can't see anything, so I'm just gonna hope for the best. Um, I don't remember skeletons in here, to be quite honest. Oh bother, okay. Um. I would like to kill you, but at the same time, I kind of wanted to heal. Alright, I just keep hitting the bells, but that's two statues down. Oh, I see another Pyromancer coming, though. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, uh, yeah, I kind of thought that might be coming. Okay, well, I did that poorly. Let me try and do a little bit better next time. Okay. So now I know that there's a lot more bells than there were before. So we're just going to try, and this time not actually hit. Oh, they stay broken. I forgot about that. And that's very, very good to know. So there should be another statue somewhere over here. There it is. Okay, that should be all the statues in this room. So now we'll just deal with these skeletons and a few hollows and we can loot to our heart's content. There is another room just like this. We've got the Lady of White Hood. Smooth and silky stone. Ah, oh, yeah, I see ya. I see ya. Another smooth and silky stone. Hi, Karumba. If you use fire bombs, that can be a really, really helpful way to actually get through here. You can also punch the rocks, which is kind of funny. In case you don't want to use your weapon durability. Which is probably a good idea, to be quite honest. And they even give you firebombs, which makes sense. Alright, ignoring some of these hollows for now. Soul of a hero. Another smooth and silky stone. Lots of those. Okay, did I just punch it? I think a hollow did, but that's okay. This room is clear. And there is a Titanite Chunk and a Petrified Dragon Bone. Now up this ladder, be prepared once you get to the top. You can have your shield ready. Oh, because we have a couple of enemies, apparently. 
Uh oh. Oh, I'm poisoned. Okay. All right. Uh, this might be okay. If I can kill this lady quickly. Okay. You know what? I I didn't kill her, but she fell. Good enough for me. Let's let's pop some life gems to counteract the poison. And I'm gonna do a fourth one just to be safe. Jeez. Shield of the insulin. All right. And here we have Dried Fingers. So this is used for multiplayer. The Dried Fingers can reset your invasion timer so you can get more PvP. Bonfire Static and a Twinkling Titanite. And now down here, if we hop down, be prepared to fight and be prepared to fight very quickly. You're not dead. Finish, finish, finish. Well, I guess the backstab was necessary apparently. I think I actually hit the bell. Bracing Knuckle Ring plus two, so you can actually get more durability out of your weapons. You are dead. Now there should be at least one more Pyromancer statue. There it is. All right, this just got dangerous. This just got dangerous, because we have one of those new guys. And we have, oh boy. And we have the Lady of Pyromancer who isn't dead. All right, gonna hide behind the wall and heal. Wow, and we have skeletons joining the party. Excellent. And by excellent, I mean that's not good. All right, the bell needs to stop. Don't even think about it. Can I finish? Good. And the hollow should be a one shot. Perfect. Whew, faint stone. Simpleton spice. Now we can loot. I think I think that's it for the Lady of Pyromancers. Well, in this room. There's still more in the hallway going towards Velstot. But if we're careful, we won't have to deal with any of them. If we're careful. You know what? Did I? Oh, oh wow. I was already invaded. Okay. I was thinking that I missed the insulin mace, but I didn't yet. Not yet. All right. Nameless Usurper, get ready. Stupid Lycia. Really? She decided to attack right at the same time and actually get a good hit in. All right. And you're done. All right. Thank you for playing. Where is it? Hidden wall. Illusory wall here. For you crossbow lovers, you're going to want this. Not the, uh, not the wall warrior. But... The Avalon, making its triumphant return. Now, are they still blocking this hallway with two of those Imperious Knights? Of course they are. Why wouldn't they? But I think I'm going to just go ahead and get past them. If they will move for me, ever so kindly. No? If you'll move ever so kindly. Alright. Thank you. Much appreciated. And now we're in another room... That can be really, really dangerous. But if you find the the hallway that has the track, this is your way out. So we're going to go out and extend the bridge just in case something happens. And then we'll actually go back into that room to fight. And you're done. Wow, a lot of those enemies, huh? Guess that's what you get for lighting that area up after they told you explicitly not to. couple of infusion stones and then at the top of this staircase to make things a lot easier you can just go ahead and rest up wow there's now even a shadow enemy down there just in case you forgot to go in that area to get the item so we're going to go in here and we're going to deal with the lady pyromancers oh boy as best as we can but apparently they're already spawning so this is going to be bad that's going to hurt that's going to hurt a lot but I do want to yep shoot I didn't get the statue broken in time and another one spawned that's okay they won't actually follow you all the way out into this hallway but it's still not gonna be a very fun trip back in all right let's see they they don't seem to notice me just yet so I'm gonna actually go to the statue 
Nope. Oh, the hollow got that one. Oh, jeez. Well, this is really, really bad. I came down a dead end. Alright, let's just go nuts. Go nuts. Go nuts. Okay. Alright. Let's... I don't know what's happening right now. Let's heal. Oh, I don't know what that is, but it's not good. Oh, boy. The roll R1 actually just saved my life right there. All right, magic shield. I want to loot everything. Well, I don't want to loot everything. I actually want to just get rid of all these statues, and then I can loot. And that's three. I think there's a fourth. There's a fourth right here. Oh, shoot. Really? And actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, I think there's actually even a fifth. I think there's a fifth. I'm going to have to use some repair powder. Oh, why did I come down here? Not good, not good, not good. This is probably going to break my sword. Yep. Huh. The shield bash. Okay. Uh, so now we're going to have to be smart about this. Let's see. What do we want to use? Pursuers? Damage is pretty terrible. What do I have? Do I have my greatsword on me? Alright, switch into the greatsword. Sorry, everyone. Not nearly as fun, I know. But if it keeps us alive, then it's what we gotta do. Yep, here's the last one. Why didn't I heal? Why didn't you guys tell me to heal? There's the statue. Good. Lady of Gauntlets. We haven't gotten a blue flame yet, which is a shame. Blue flame is a really cool sword that can actually cast sorceries and hexes. Really, really cool item. All right, I don't care about you because there's nothing down here. So let's just loot the corpses, and then there is an illusory wall that we need to find. Oh, there's the Mace of the Insulin. Oh, I'm sorry, the Mace of the Insulin is not behind the illusory wall, but there is an illusory wall nonetheless. In fact, hey, watch it. Once you're in here, Ferris Lockstone. So right across from us is where this links up. I apologize, guys. The Mace of the Insulin, that, that has always been there on that corpse. Really? Oh, you little booger. Okay. Wowza. <laughs> There's a lot of them. You don't have to uh, light that up. Just FYI, you don't have to. <laughs> I chose to kind of like a fool. All right. Allen Ford's staff and the Great Lightning Spear. That's what's hidden behind that illusory wall. But now, let's get out of here. Let's finish up, hopefully, finish up the Undead Crypt by going to fight our good friend, Velstot. Now, did they... Now we're going to actually go take care of something right under here because I don't want to fight any more of these Lady of Pyromancers, to be quite honest. No, no, no. Back up, back up. Don't ring the bell. There we go. If he rings that bell, there are four... Is it four or six? I think it's four Lady of Pyromancers that will spawn. If you kill him beforehand, they will not. So let's see. Okay, looks like... Why are they spawning? <laughs> Why are they spawning? No one rang the bell. And there's a shadow guy here too. I don't know who rang the bell. I, there's no one here. Oh, you, do they just keep spawning? They might just keep spawning. Well, this is going to be interesting. All right, let's try to deal with this guy. Okay, one down. But I don't know if they're just going to keep spawning because he's ringing the bell. Because if so, that's going to be 
mighty dangerous. We do have a summon that we can grab, and we are going to. Alright, back up, back up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, yep. They're still spawning. They are still spawning. Well, then what's the deal? Because this guy previously did not respawn. But apparently now he does, and he just keeps ringing the bell. I don't know that uh, that I'm for that. I don't know that I agree with this mechanic now. If I can't stop this trap from happening, then it's not a very clever trap in my opinion. Dark Knight Stone. Yep, and he just respawns right away. Okay. Oh boy, what to do, what to do, what to do. I guess we're just gonna try to run past them and maybe focus on the Sien Knights and apparently a stinking Dragon Rider. This is, this is insane. This is insane. I do not approve of my choice, but I don't know how else to handle it because... If that hollow just keeps respawning, then there's no way to stop the Lady of Pyromancers. Oh wow, and here just comes everything, huh? And he has a ton of health. He has an absolute ton of health. I... I have no best practices for this, guys. This... I'm not going to lie, this actually irritates me a little bit. It doesn't feel like a very good mechanic. This used to be a tough gauntlet anyway, but now that they've included a Dragon Rider and a Hollow that just keeps respawning the Lady of Pyromancers, I don't know. This is uh, going to be tough. I'm going to try to take out the non-respawning enemies, like the CN Knights and maybe the Dragon Rider. go there's that do I dare I guess I guess I kill one more and now but I think one just spawned maybe if I get Agdane who surprise surprise that's who the summon sign is Agdane oh not here there we go and maybe we can pull the dragon rider into the corner here and just deal with him Or he's just going to focus on Agdane. Okay. It's actually not the worst thing in the world. Oh, my second dragon ring is already breaking. How in the world is that the case? He's almost dead. Alright, good. We got him. So let's, let's heal. How is my dragon ring? One, I have to change it out. I have to change it out. All right, this will be interesting. Come on, Agdane, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's ignore the Pyromancers. I don't know how well this is going to go. I truly do not. Yeah, you really don't want to be blocking at that point. When he does a kick, you get out of the way. That, that's a good rule to live by. Also, I'm, uh, I'm not blocking hardly any of his attacks. And let's see if he can focus on Agdane for just a minute. There's some damage. Alright. Rolling might be necessary, I'm not going to lie. Wow. Bad timing on my rolls. Okay, Agdane. Uh, just stay alive so I can get a little bit of health in the form of life gems. Alright. Yeah, Agdane's going to go down very quickly. Alright. Do all the damage you can while he's buffing. Okay, now, Agdane is going to eat it very quickly. Oh my gosh, why is my, my Warlock Mask at risk? Okay, here we go. So let's back up. 
let's back up. And I actually really want him to do his dark attack because that will give me time to get... Wow, the range on his mace is pretty crazy. Yes, perfect. Now, if I get behind him, theoretically, he cannot hit me. But he can hit me then. All right, heal. What are you doing? Oh, oh, oh. That was a that was a really bad roll and a bad time to roll. Are you going to do it again? Yes, you are. Oh no. Just don't actually be in front of him because that will hurt a whole lot. Ooh. Okay. That would have hurt too. Okay. All right, get, run, run, run. Good, good. Back up, back up. All right. What do you want to do? You gonna, yes you are, perfect. I might actually even be able to finish you here. And, Velstot is done, excellent. Whew! That was, uh, that was a close one. Velstot's a good fight. I think Velstot's a very good fight. But here we have King Vendrick, but based on just how long this video already is, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this item, which is the King's Ring, a very important item, and I am going to hang out with King Vendrick and tell you guys that I am gonna see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Sorry it's been a little bit long, but now with the King's Ring, we have a multitude of of different things we can do specifically we can go to Aldius keep we have the key to the embedded so we can go rescue the milfinito we can explore a couple other areas and i'll see you guys next time for when we do that